So thanks so much for joining me here today and welcome if you're new here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about what I bought during the Black Friday sales. I tried to be good, I didn't go too crazy, and I did try to stick with the plan. So let's go ahead and jump right into what I purchased and then at the end of the video, or actually I should say the bulk of the video, is what I have received lately during PR. I've received some really special things, some things I'm really excited about, so I am really excited to talk to you guys about what I have received. I know some of you may not enjoy the PR portions of these videos, so that's why I'm putting it at the end. And I will leave the timestamp for when the PR begins so that if you want to skip that, you'll know exactly when that happens. So let's go ahead and jump into what I purchased for the Black Friday sales. You will not be surprised to know that I repurchased the Paakai cleansing cream. I'm not too sure how many times I've purchased this, but it is one of my absolute favorite cleansers of all time. I love the beautiful rose scent of this cream. This does have Hawaiian salt in here, which is gonna help balance your skin with all the minerals that um, you will find in the Hawaiian salt. There's hibiscus in here, which is a natural source of AHAs. There's also seaweed extract in here. And like I said, the rose hydrosol which gives it that beautiful rose scent, but it's not overpowering, so you don't need to worry about it being too strongly scented. It's got a beautiful texture. It is creamy, but it kind of um, lathers up just slightly when you emulsify it with the water. Beautiful, I love this product so much, that's why I repurchased it. I also repurchased one of my favorite masks of all time, the Moana mask. This mask is a clarifying mask as well as a beautiful nurturing mask. It gives really great hydration and moisturization while it's doing its clarifying because it has clays in here, it has French green clay, it also has Hawaiian honey and aloe, so it's got the clarifying properties from the clay, and it's gonna give you hydration from the aloe and the honey. There's also Lau Kahi, I hope I'm saying that right, that is a skin healing plant used for centuries in Hawaii um, in traditional Hawaiian medicine. It's got Limu Koa, which is Hawaiian spirulina, which is high in antioxidants. Um, and then it's got a beautiful scent of neroli, jasmine, and rose which I just really, really love. It's, it's very subtle, again, not very overpowering. And I just go back to it time and time again because it just feels so good, feels so nurturing. I don't feel like I'm overdoing it with my skin, yet it's very efficacious in its clarifying properties. And I just, I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. In my order, Kapua very generously gave me her new Li Hao Refreshing Face Mist. And this I am absolutely in love with. The scent of this is out of this world. I am so in love with it. It has got sandalwood hydrosol in here, vetiver root oil, blue tansy oil, and neroli oil in here. Now I know I've said over and over and over again that I am not a big fan of blue tansy, but to me, I actually cannot smell the blue tansy in here very much, if at all. I get uh, the blend of sandalwood and vetiver in here, and it is just perfection. Sometimes vetiver can be a little bit on the powdery side, but this is just more just like pure and green and combined with the sandalwood. And I, I actually don't really wanna spray it right now um, because I don't wanna waste it because it is kind of a small bottle. And I know this is in limited quantities, at least for the time being, so I really don't wanna waste it. And I actually have been using this not so much as a face mist, but to just kind of spray around me for the aromatherapeutic benefits. Um, it calms your mind, it gives you mental clarity and peace and that is what is written on the website and i could not agree more i just i get such a feeling of relaxation and just and like kapua says on the website just that peaceful feeling so that is actually how i've been using it um, it also is going to for your skin it does give you hydration because there's hyaluronic acid in here the witch hazel is going to help tighten and tone your skin i have so many toners going that i don't really feel the need to use this on my skin i'm going to use my other toners for that i am going to save this for the aromatherapy benefits because the scent of this is just absolute heaven. I, I just am in love with it. And I hope that Kapua keeps making it and I hope that it comes in a much bigger size because I would definitely purchase this in the future. If this was a gift, like I said, with my purchase, but I would gladly purchase this in the future because the vetiver and the sandal, and I'm assuming the vetiver, I know that vetiver is grown in Hawaii. So I'm assuming the vetiver is from Hawaii 
Hawaii. The sandalwood is from Hawaii and um, you know, and I just love supporting Hanua and everything that they do in terms of supporting Hawaiian farms and what they stand for. So that is what I got from Hanua. All right, so I can already tell that this is going to be a long video. So press pause, grab a cup of tea because we've got a lot to get through here. Um, moving on to Live Botanical, I did get Carolyn's anointing oils. I got her Garden and Prairie set, which came in this little box here. And these are what the roller balls look like. Just kind of the standard roller balls that you would find in an oil-based roll-on. And before we start talking about the scents that are in the Garden and Prairie set, I do want to make mention that these are special limited edition for the holidays and Carolyn spent all year um, wild harvesting locally these beautiful flowers and she has extracted the floral essences through enfleurage and macerations. So these did take a lot of time and energy and effort to create and so I'm very, very excited about these that Carolyn did create these. Uh, let's talk about the jasmine and honey one first. This has um, jasmine and clary sage and lavender and I would consider this a jasmine solo floor because it really is a jasmine forward fragrance but when you put it on your skin it's a jasmine that wears very close to the skin so it's not a jasmine that's going to like bowl you over it's not going to blow everybody around you away and say oh my gosh who's wearing a, a super strong jasmine fragrance I would say it's just very gentle. I think there's vanilla in here as well that gives that honey jasmine experience to it. I don't really get a huge sense of the clary sage and lavender. So for me, this isn't a super herbally jasmine fragrance. It's just a very soft jasmine, very wearable. If you're a person who likes jasmine and you like to wear jasmine perfume, but you don't like to wear something that's super strong, super heady, I do highly recommend this. I think on the website, Carolyn does describe this as a heady fragrance, but to me, I don't get a super heady experience from this. To me, it does feel, like I said, very wearable. And now that I have it on my skin a little bit longer, I do feel like there is maybe a little hint of the clary sage coming through. I just, I'm not getting a lot of the lavender in it. But anyway, just to sum it up, I think it's a very lovely, pretty jasmine that I think a lot of people would be attracted to. So I'm just gonna leave that at that. I do highly recommend it if you are a jasmine fan. So let's move on to the Wild Rose and Meadow. This is the second fragrance that is part of the Garden and Prairie set. This is really, really beautiful. This to me smells like you are in a summertime meadow that is just brimming with wild roses. It has chamomile in here and it has yarrow. There's also geranium in here, but I actually don't get a, a huge hit of geranium. Geranium typically can overpower fragrances. I really do not get a lot of geranium in here really if at all to me it really expresses the wild rose chamomile and also the yarrow and i really love the word uncultivated that carolyn uses to describe the yarrow on the website because that just gives you that sense of just kind of like that wild meadow that i was talking about in the summertime when things are getting kind of dry and you just smell that yarrow just in the air you don't even have to start walking through the, the meadow, you can just like, you just sense it like the bees are buzzing and you kind of like feel it in the air. That's the sense I get from this perfume. And it's really, really lovely. So if you like chamomile and you like kind of more of that wild rose smell, I would highly recommend the wild rose and meadow perfume. It's just the perfect name for it. It, you know, the name is what the perfume smells like. So if you want to bring some summertime into the winter doldrums, then I highly recommend this beautiful anointing oil that Carolyn has created. I think both of them are really lovely. Like I said, with the jasmine and honey, same thing with the wild rose and meadow because it is a natural perfume based in oil it does wear close to the skin so i think these are both very appropriate to wear to work to keep in your bag just anoint yourself with this beautiful fragrance that is mostly for you or somebody who's going to be close to you and not like blow other people away with your fragrance so now let's move on to laurel skin and what i got from laurel during the black friday sale I actually have not opened these up yet. So these are still in their paper wrapping. I got two hydrosols from her. So let's see what this one is. 
All right, this is the California Rose. Now this one is still available on the website. This is a single farm artisan distilled California Damask Rose Hydrosol, pure organic. And I have not sprayed this one yet, so we are going to experience this together. Yes, just very beautiful, love it, and super, super special. So Laure what Laurel has done with this, yeah, this just smells amazing. And what Laurel has done with this is, like I said, this is all coming from a farm in California. So yeah, this just smells amazing. And I really respect what Laurel is doing, getting the roses from a local farm. And as I mentioned, this is still available on her website. Feels great on the skin, smells beautiful. Love what Laurel is doing with that. And then the second one here that I'm opening, unfortunately is not available anymore. This sold out pretty quickly, I believe. This is the Forest Bath, and this has Ponderosa Pine, Douglas Fir, Eucalyptus, and Sandalwood. And I'm gonna spray this on my other arm. Yeah, oh, this smells amazing. Oh, this is beautiful. And I know she created this to feel like you are bathing in the forest and it smells incredible. So I don't wanna talk about this one too much since it's not available. I do know that Carolyn of Live Botanical is creating something maybe kind of similar for the winter solstice. So you'll wanna keep an eye out on her website if something like this is intriguing to you because yes, this is amazing and I'm super happy to have it. So, so I ended up making a purchase from Lovina and I was enticed by Aloha Jen. Thank you, Jen, for this enabling. I saw that Lovina was doing a, I think 25% off for Black Friday and I was really intrigued by their blue butterfly mask after I saw Jen talking about it. I think it was on her best of 2019 roundup. This is what the jar looks like and this is what the mask looks like. It's a pretty incredible blue color and I'm pretty sure that the blue comes from blue spirulina. I'm not exactly sure what creates this blue color but I'm going to assume it's the blue spirulina. There's no dyes in the ingredient list that I can see um, and interestingly it, to me, it smells like uh, vanilla frosting. And again, reading the ingredient list, I have no idea what is causing the vanilla smell in here, but to me, it smells like vanilla frosting. So there's deep sea minerals in here, plant stem cells, uh, pre and probiotics. This is going to exfoliate your skin, boost collagen, increase hydration. I have only used it once and you just leave it on your skin for 10 minutes and then rinse it off or wipe it off with it with a cloth. My skin felt great afterwards. Again, I've only used it once, so I can't really attest to, you know, long-term results or how I feel about using it, you know, many, many times. So I will report back after using it over a few months, but my first impression is good. I can't say that that I noticed anything like really phenomenal um, after that one time use, but I'm not gonna judge a product after using it just one time. So I really did like it, um, but I'm going to reserve judgment after using it several times. Uh, they did send me as a gift, a product that has not been released yet. This is their Dragon's Blood Vitamin C Cleansing Oil. Now this I have really been enjoying. I've used it about five or six times now, and I don't know exactly what's in here, except for of course the dragon's blood and the vitamin C. I have never used anything that has dragon's blood in it, so I'm not exactly sure what dragon's blood smells like, but this smell, to me, it smells like a really intense tropical fruit. Like to me, it smells like a really concentrated maybe guava or passion fruit. I'm not exactly sure. So I kind of think maybe there's something like that in here as well. But again, I'm not exactly sure what dragon's blood smells like, but it has a very like pungent tropical fruit smell. I love the texture of this. It's very thick and kind of bouncy and it does emulsify off. So I really appreciate that this is a very thick, uh, oil cleanser that does completely emulsify off, but it doesn't strip your skin at all and it still leaves your skin very soft. So I've really been enjoying this. The one thing I would say though, is I don't love the fact that it has this dropper uh, to dispense the product though. When you pump it, 
there's just a tiny little bit that gets into the dropper. So I have to dispense it uh, maybe three or four times to get as much product as I would like out of here. And then you kind of have to use, you know, two hands to do it. I would much prefer a pump just a regular pump to get the product out. So while it looks beautiful, it's not super user friendly, I would say. So that's the only criticism I have of this product. So that's the feedback that I would give to Lovina is just to change the dispensing mechanism of it. Otherwise, I really, really love this product. And then they also sent me their palette this is the Eye Magic palette. So it comes in the box like this, which I think is really pretty. And this is what the palette looks like. Just a gorgeous palette. And I had been talking about how I was really interested in green eyeshadows. And luckily this palette actually has a couple of green shadows in here. There's this one here, which is kind of more of a teal color. And then this one here, which is more of an emerald green. I'm not sure if you can see the depth of this color uh, with the lighting going on here, but I actually have it on today. So I have the green on. Hopefully you can see what it looks like. I did experience some fallout because this is actually quite glittery, way more glittery than I had imagined it was going to be. So the color, actually the green pigment didn't fall out onto my skin, but the, the actual glitter did. So it actually looks kind of cool um, for a nighttime look, a holiday look, but this is not these um, kind of the, the shimmery glittery colors are not ones that I would wear for daytime at all because uh, first of all, they, they do reflect uh, quite a bit. So for me, that's not something I would feel comfortable uh, wearing during the daytime, but for nighttime parties or whatever, that it's just absolutely perfect. So like I said, I do have kind of like some shimmers that, that did fall out here, I but I do think it looks kind of fun and festive, uh, but again, not something that I would wear during the daytime. So just to be aware of that, you might wanna do that little trick where you put um, tape under your eyes while you're doing your eye makeup so then the the, um, the little sparklies lift right off after you've done your eye makeup. So that's it from what I actually purchased. I did get a couple of gift with purchases as I mentioned, but let's move into the true PR that I was sent. So the first one I wanna talk about is Velvet and Sweet Pea. And I'm kind of reluctant to actually call this PR because I have known Lori Stern, who is the creator, the perfumer behind Velvet and Sweet Pea. I've known her for about 10 years now, ever since I started Scent Hive, which was my original all natural perfume blog. Uh, I've known her for so long, I've never met her in real life, but I feel like this is more of just a gift of thanks that she sent me for supporting her and not so much PR. I just, PR kind of sounds really impersonal for the relationship that I have with Lori. So she was so lovely to send me these. And the first one I wanna talk about is her lilac body frosting. Fortunately, I got a picture of this before my cat knocked this off the counter. And it's kind of funny, she is such a huge cat lover, just animal lover. She just, she's also a huge activist and animal rights activist. So it's kind of, uh, apropos that my it was my cat who actually knocked this off the counter but you can see that it kind of it broke the cat broke but anyway um this is what it looks like just super cute just kind of like vintage uh, design that Lori has here what she has done is used lilac and florage to create this body frosting and it just smells so gorgeous she has several of these body frostings she has I think it's blood orange and she has gardenia and this gorgeous cashmere rose, which is just out of this world. You, you've got to go check out her website. It is so fun and just like whimsical to go and check out her website. Her products are very expensive. This jar of the body frosting is $40. It is worth every single penny though. It's just such a gorgeous experience. This one is more expensive because it is limited edition. Uh, than her other body frostings. But if you've never tried a Lori Stern Velvet and Sweet Pea uh, perfume, her body frostings are a great introduction to what she has to offer. She also sent me one of her solid perfumes and it came in this cute little velvet pouch. And the name, I hope I'm gonna say the name correctly, it's Mystery de Voile, I think. And this little guy, and like I said, her products are quite expensive. This little solid is $70. 
but it is so stunning. It has sandalwood and osmanthus, and as you know, I love osmanthus. It's just this one in particular is just super juicy with the apricot going on in here, and the sandalwood is just so deep and resinous and creamy. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. There's also orris butter in here, which is going to have like kind of a violet aspect to it. There's Italian blood orange, and it's also really leathery, which is just super, as I said in my Instagram post, it's just kind of super sexy for this time of year. It's just a really gorgeous, special fragrance, and thank you so much, Lori, for sending these to me. Just such an incredible package to receive, and yeah, just go check out her website because what she creates is really, really special, and unlike what anybody else is doing in natural perfumery, and if you cannot afford her uh, perfumes, which are incredibly expensive, not too many people can afford what she creates, and if you can afford one of her body frostings, then I highly, highly recommend getting one. She also does have a few perfumes that aren't a part of like her Lux line that are uh, less expensive and they are really beautiful as well. So just go check out and see what Lori does. Um, the next package that I got from PR was from Landcraft Wellness. I had never heard of them before and they are from New York and they have like a brewery and a farm and they have branched out into CBD. They are uh, farming their own um, hemp and their products are super impressive. So they have a whole line of CBD wellness products and let's talk about the first one that I'm really enjoying and this is their Cocoa Butter Body Cream. This is really amazing. So this has full spectrum, and let's just say all of their products are full spectrum CBD. So this has full spectrum CBD, cocoa butter, organic arnica, peppermint, and just opening this up, it smells really, really beautiful. Fantastic actually for this time of year with this peppermint smell. It's kind of on the thin side. It's not as thick as I thought it would be. It's really, I don't wanna say it's watery, but it spreads really thinly. And I actually kind of like it because then it absorbs very quickly on whatever part of your body you want to get the therapeutic benefits from the CBD. This package actually came at a perfect time because uh, I play a lot of tennis, as you guys may or may not know. So I have a lot of aches and pains pretty frequently, and I had this weird kind of pain at the front of my hip, and I put the cocoa butter all over that part of my body, and I went to bed, and when I woke up the next morning, it was gone. Might have been a coincidence, but I do think that this body cream actually had something to do with it. And let's just talk about price for a moment. The cocoa butter cream is the most expensive product. This is $74.99. They also sent me their sports recovery gel, which is $34.99. And this has capsicum, eucalyptus, peppermint, cinnamon, and white camphor bark. So this comes in a little bit different of a delivery method. You know, it has the pump here. So this would be great to keep in your sports bag. This also is on the thin side as well. So it absorbs very quickly. This too, I have also used and I have found great relief with it as well. I have put this on my elbow because I do get some tennis elbow and I have found this to be very therapeutic as well. I also really have enjoyed this Healthy Sleep Body Balm. So this comes in a stick form. And this has, let's see, olive, coconut, shea, jojoba, rosehip, and neem. And this is $24.99. I have found this one to be super effective. I really like the delivery system of this. I've actually used this as a lip balm um, under my nose. It gets really, really dry and chapped during the winter. It doesn't matter if I have a cold or not, or if I'm blowing my nose a lot or not, for whatever reason, under my nose gets really irritated. So I've been using this um under my nose so i've just been you know taking my finger here and just putting this right under my nose and i feel like not only does it help relieve the irritation and the dryness but i get a little bit of that cbd therapeutic benefit at nighttime and then they sent me their lip butter which is 11.99 this has shea cocoa butter rose hip seed oil and avocado butter in it so far i've only used this one time it's a really nice lip butter i need to use it more to report back on what i think about it i'm pretty picky about my lip balms lip butters and so i will use this more and report back and then finally they also sent me their tincture 
And I have used tinctures in the past. I have the modern medicinals that I use very frequently that is created here in Oregon. This one has the same amount of milligrams of CBD. It's 600 milligrams in a one ounce. And what I typically do at nighttime, if I feel like I just need a little help falling asleep, I will just take a little bit and just kind of um, dab a few drops just like under my lip. <laughs> um, so I kind of get like that buccal delivery of the oil. And if I feel like I'm getting kind of like headachey at nighttime, or I just need a little bit of extra help falling asleep, I will use that. And I have used that maybe two or three nights and I feel like it's really helped me to fall asleep and get a good night's sleep. So overall, I've been very impressed with these Landcraft products. I feel like they have a great variety of delivery systems. Um, you know, ranging from this uh, body cream to the sports gel to this balm. And I'm super impressed. So I highly recommend them. I think the scents are really great. They're not overpowering. I actually do think that the price points are really reasonable as well. I think the, the, the body cream is a little bit on the expensive side, but I think this is gonna last me for quite a while. I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna last, but I feel like if this can last me up to six months, then I do think that the price point is worth it. And compared to things like Lord Jones, which in my mind is overpriced, I think this is very competitive. And if I'm remembering correctly, is much less expensive. And I'm not super drawn to those brands anyway that are trying to market CBD kind of like high end and luxury. This definitely seems to be more my jam. I kind of more like down home, more focused on the farming end of it all. That I, this is definitely more what I am drawn to. So, so far I highly recommend the Landcraft CBD products. And of course I will link all that information below. So moving on to a brand that you guys have probably seen on Instagram quite a bit, or, you know, social media quite a bit is Strange Bird, uh, founded by Tina Chow Rudolph. She is actually first generation Chinese American. And so she is really rooted in Chinese beauty tradition. So that is what she is bringing to the table here when it comes to the ingredients ingredients that she is using. The three ingredients that she calls her G team are goji berry, ginseng, and ginger. And the goji berry is loaded with amino acid and is a very good hydrator. The ginseng is gonna help boost collagen and is anti-inflammatory. And then the ginger is an antioxidant and antiseptic, so it's gonna help, especially if you have acneic skin. So those three ingredients are in every single product. Uh, let's start talking about the serum. And so this is $88. So the price point is pretty expensive on this line. Um, I actually really did like the serum. I think it soaks into the skin very well and it plays well with other products. The one thing I will say with this line is the scent is pretty strong. And I feel like I don't really jive quite that well with the scent. It's kind of sweet and fruity. And I think that when I was watching, uh, I think it was Andy from Andy the Green Queen, she said that maybe it kind of had like a candy scent and I couldn't really put my finger on what my experience was or how to describe it, but that I would agree with her that it kind of has like a fruity, candy smell and for some reason there's just kind of a disconnect with the scent and what i kind of want the experience to be i'm just not quite sure what it is i think andy reached out to tina about the smell and tina has said that the scent is purely coming from that that g team trio the the goji berry the ginseng and the ginger so maybe it is just the sweetness of those three ingredients together that's causing kind of like that that creates that fruity smell. But the smell unfortunately just isn't for me. So even though I enjoyed the serum and how it works and everything, uh, unfortunately the scent is just, at this point in time, is just gonna be a no-go for me. And kind of the same thing with the lotion. And I'll show you what the box looks like so you can just see the packaging. I mean, I really love the packaging, the design, like the branding and everything that Tina is about. I, I really love it and I love, 
like her Instagram and, and just everything that she's putting forth into the world, I really, really love. So I would love it maybe if she did tinker with the scent a little bit or maybe created this same product, but unscented, or maybe she'll come up with more products that just has a different scent profile or something. I'm just, I'm curious to see what else she comes out with. But the moisturizer, again, just beautiful packaging. Love it, love the ingredients. Even though I really like this texture of the moisturizer, it feels great and it soaks into the skin. Um, yeah, the scent, I just can't jive with it. I don't know if any of you guys grew up with baby aspirin or if you can remember what baby aspirin smells like. It smells like baby aspirin to me or maybe even like Flintstones uh, chewable vitamins. It just kind of has that smell. So I'm kind of sad about the scent, but let's talk about the cleanser because the cleanser actually is a hit for me. Uh, the cleanser does have the smell, but because I'm rinsing it off, the smell doesn't bother me in the cleanser. So the cleanser is actually a three in one. It's a cleanser, a mask, and an exfoliator. So it kind of has like a milky cleanser type experience and it lathers up just very gently. So it acts as a foaming cleanser, but it's very, very gentle. It's a beautiful experience because it has the exfoliating property to it, but it leaves your skin feeling so smooth and so silky. Um, it has kaolin clay, it's got almond oil and jojoba oil. So it's just a very unique experience. And I'm always intrigued by cleansers that have unique textures and just give you a different experience from other cleansers that you've used. So while it does have the same scent as the serum and the moisturizer, it does seem to be a little bit milder and it rinses off and it does not linger on my skin. Interestingly, this is $58, which I do feel like is a little bit steep for what this is, but that's just my personal opinion. I don't know, I'm just, I was just a little bit struck by the fact that this is a $58 cleanser. I mean, I know that they're also promoting this as a mask as well, but $58 just seems a little bit high to me. But having said this, I do really enjoy this cleanser. I just don't know if I would see myself purchasing this in the future at $58. Honestly, I would probably wait for some kind of a sale to happen if I were to purchase that on my own. All right, so moving on, Kahina was so lovely to send me their new candle. This was in collaboration with Ulili. Uh, they also collaborated with Ulili on their first candle. This is $69, and I think this would make a beautiful, beautiful gift. And I would have included this in my gift idea video if I had received this in time. This is their Tarudant candle, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but this was named after the Southern Moroccan city and it has notes of neroli, laurel, basil, and rosemary. So this is what the box looks like. Obviously the box is beautiful and just adds to that effect of it being a wonderful gift. And then this is what the candle itself looks like. And the vessel that the candle comes in are all handmade uh, and hand glazed in Casablanca. And Ulili's founder, his name is Omar Benjaloon. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I'm guessing it's Benjaloon. He uses scented memories of his childhood in Morocco as his influence for these scents. And he studied perfumery at the Grasse Institute of Perfume in France. And this smells heavenly. And it's interesting but not one of these notes actually just stands out. And you can tell that a master perfumer created this smell because they're all blended so beautifully together. And it just smells like a sunny, gorgeous day at the beach. I can just imagine what it's like to be in this beautiful town of Tar Tarodant. Tarodant. <laughs> Again, I don't know how to say that word, how to say the name of that city, but it smells gorgeous. And just look at this. I mean, so beautiful. It just looks beautiful. And just holding it feels amazing. I just, I, I can't bring myself to light this candle quite yet because I just wanna stare at how gorgeous this is. And I loved the candle that Kahina sent me the first time around, their first release, but then unfortunately my son broke it. So I'm so glad to have this candle. Thank you so much Kahina for sending this to me. I will treasure this and I will make sure that hopefully my son or my cat doesn't knock this off the counter and break this. I'm going to make sure that this is in a safe place. 
So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the mask from Flower and Spice. This is the Beauty Masquerade. This is their new limited edition. And Flower and Spice is a brand from the Netherlands and Carmen is the uh, formulator. And it comes in this beautiful apothecary bottle. So this is a dry mask. You can mix it with whatever you want to. You can mix it with water. Carmen also says you can mix it with kombucha. You can then also, once you've got it wet, you can mix it with honey, yogurt, anything that you want to. It's got resource and white kale and clay, hibiscus, turmeric, ginseng, lemongrass. There's also some black pepper seed oil in here, which I'm assuming is gonna help with circulation. I have not used this yet, so I cannot speak to my experience using this mask yet but it smells delicious and I'm really looking forward to using this. So I just wanted to mention that I got this. Thank you again to Flower and Spice and I will get back to you all on my experience with it in a later video. So we're getting close to the end here. I just have two more things to talk about. I want to mention La Coes. This is actually a Portland brand, which is pretty exciting. Again, another beautiful box here. This would make a lovely gift. And this is what the bottle looks like so beautiful i think there's something like 15 different oils in here and i'm not going to read all of them but my favorites are camellia argan prickly pear seed oil evening primrose oil there's also sea buckthorn oil in here sea buckthorn co2 i believe and like i mentioned they are portland based and they are made in micro batches here in portland all of the oils are organic i have really been enjoying using this when i do gua sha I haven't really talked about gua sha and my gua sha routine. I will be talking about that later. I've been wanting to save that for my anti-aging, quote unquote, anti-aging um, update routine because I really feel like that's been making a big difference. But I thought I would just mention that here that this is a beautiful oil to use for gua sha. This oil also is really beautiful to use over top um, retinols because if you do experience any dryness or irritation with your retinol use, this really helps bring back moisture into to your skin with all the amazing oils that are in here. There is a relatively strong scent of jasmine. So I'll get the scent experience while I'm using the gua sha, typically in the morning before I shower. And then I'll end up using an oil cleanser on top of it in the shower and then it all rinses off. So sometimes it can be a little bit too strong for me to leave on my skin all through the day or at nighttime. That's why I really like using this for gua sha during the day. I do typically end up removing that oil and I don't have it on for the rest of the day. So this has been really good for that for me. Price wise, it is $108. So yes, it is expensive. I think presentation wise, you're getting a very gorgeous bottle. You're paying for this lovely presentation of this gorgeous box. So if that kind of thing is really important to you, then you are gonna be paying that premium price and it is loaded with very expensive, costly oils. Um, so there is that. This portion of the video is the PR portion of the video. So clearly this was gifted to me by the brand. So I don't know if I would necessarily purchase it myself, but um, I do think that it is a gorgeous oil. And it, again, it's up to you to decide whether or not you think it is truly worth $108. So finally, I wanna talk about a brand called Heart and Soil. Um, the founder's name is Katie, and she reached out to me a few weeks ago, and I just received her package which is basically a bag full of her minis and she's based in Pennsylvania and I just want to give a little bit of background about her she studied horticulture and landscape design um, but ended up finding herself in school for herbalism she is certified in organic skincare through formula botanical and she launched her brand officially in 2018 so she um, she really wants to make sure that her brand is representing her herbalism background and her whole plant philosophy. She also believes that the most nutrient dense plants live in our backyards and she's leaving the need to harvest plants from exotic ecosystems to the wayside. For instance, her favorite plants to use are nettle, comfrey, calendula, alfalfa, and milky oats. So I'm not gonna go through every single product that she sent me because as you can see, this bag is full of her minis, but I will highlight a few that I was most intrigued by and a couple that I did use today. So this is her saging facial serum and she's saying saging like instead of aging. So saging facial serum, and again, this is just her little mini 
And this I used this morning and I really, really loved it. And I don't wanna pump any out because there's not very much in here, but this was kind of like one of those emulsion type products, but a little bit more on the lotion side. I really, really love the texture and I'm very, very intrigued by this. I could definitely see myself wanting a full size of this because it felt really great on the skin. I just used a toner. I think I used Carolyn's um, Live Botanicals Elixir and then then I just put this on and then I used um, the heart and soil vitamin C facial cream on top of that and that's all that I used this morning underneath my foundation and my skin feels great really hydrated really moisturized and so so far I'm actually pretty impressed and I want to dig more into the ingredients that Katie's using in her products and I'm really interested in trying all of her products here. And the reason why I actually said yes to her sending me her products, aside from just being super intrigued by everything she had to say on her website, is I was also really interested in her Rose and Vetiver facial cream. I'm always really intrigued to see how people use Vetiver and how the Vetiver reads in a product. And I put a little dab on my hand and the Vetiver in here really smells beautiful. So, so far first impression of Heart and Soil is very, very positive. I'm really interested in Katie and what she's doing here and I'm really excited to try more and I could definitely see myself getting a full size of the saging and also of the vitamin C um, cream. I'm not exactly sure where the vitamin C is derived from, but I'm going to definitely be checking out her ingredient lists and um, and delving into her brand even more. So one last thing I wanna mention is Prisma Palette sent me a bunch of samples of their of their green eyeshadows. So I gotta figure out how best to use these, how to dispense them. If you have any helpful hints, let me know. But I have a whole bunch of green eyeshadows to play with, so I'll let you know which ones turn out to be my favorites. And then I might end up making that green eyeshadow quad uh, for myself after all. I didn't end up making one for myself because they sent me these samples. So I'm gonna see which ones are my favorites and then I'll probably end up making myself a quad. So that also did arrive. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way through to the end, thank you so much for trooping it out. I appreciate your support more than I could ever tell you. If you did like the video, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.